Well, today we're going to take a look at the overrunning clutch on this Briggs and Stratton motor. It's on an MTD tiller. And what it's doing when you start it, it makes a screeching and squealing sound once the engine started because it's grabbing on that overrunning clutch and not doing what it's supposed to do. I'll show you how it works in a minute. But this is what it does. and it's going to wreck your starter. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take this whole shroud off here because the starter is mounted to this. So you just got a couple bolts in it and we'll take them loose. And there's one more back here you got to get to. So now we got to pop it off here. This is your starter. This piece here is your overrunning clutch. I can feel it sticking already. It should spin real nice and freely. Now you're going to take this off, there's two little screws here, and then your overrunning clutch will come apart. Then you just crack the screen. There's a plastic cover on here. And now, downside here, these balls are going to fall, but this they'll take and this will sit here and the engine will be able to spin around this once it's running so it doesn't grab your starter. But this here, there's a shaft here that this sits on and that's dirty again I would imagine because that's what it was last time. But if this stuff in here was all gunked up or you had a missing ball or one of these is messed up or there's lots of junk, you're going to want to replace this whole thing. There's going to be a thing to remove this. These are threaded on. Easiest way to do it, have an impact, you have a thing that goes on here, on the other side of here, and it'll just spin it right off of there. You can make them homemade real easy. But since everything in mine looks good, I'm going to take it off, clean up that shaft and this piece here, and I'll spray it with some Tri-Flow. Then it'll be ready to go again. I'm going to get these balls out of here so I don't lose them. There'll be six of them once you got them all. Now, this will slide off. I can already see this is all dirty and there's a little bit of like rust on there and it's all sticky. Should be nice and smooth. So you want to take some really fine emery cloth on that, just clean it up a bit. Clean out the inside of this as much as you can. Down inside of there. And then you want to spray it with some Tri-Flow and then spray the balls a little bit with Tri-Flow. So we're going to take, just polish this up a bit. This is about the finest emery cloth you can get here unless it's that Specialty stuff that you use on crankshafts or camshafts. Just get it nice and polished and shiny. Something else you're going to want to do? Blow that all good out with air. Now you got your piece here. There's not much you can do with this unless you got a little brush that you can do in here, like a little bristle brush that you can get in there and clean that out with. Otherwise, all you really got to do, take, spray it with Tri-Flow, spray it out good, like do it on a rag, get the junk out of there. Got a little junk out of there. There, now she looks good and clean. And you're gonna take, make sure everything in here is nice and clean. You ain't got no dirt or rust or junk in there. Take a little bit of lubricant, in this case, tri -flow. Get everything here rinsed out pretty good. So you don't have a bunch of junk. And that'll help to lubricate everything. Just make sure you ain't got no excessive stuff there that you're going to get excessive dirt sticking inside of here. Pretty much why this thing ends up sticking is because you end up getting dirt in here over time because it's a tiller and it's throwing dust and dirt everywhere. 
You want to put a very light coating inside of here. Get it worked around inside of there. And you'll put on a light coat on here. Not much at all. You can dab off any excess that drips. See now it spins on there really nice before it was sticking. Now you want to take and get your balls, make sure they're all clean and lubricated a little bit, then you'll be ready to go. Okay, I got all the balls in there now. So I'm going to take this piece here, make sure the inside on this is all clean. I'll take, stick that back on there, take my screen, get my little screws. Got to be on here fairly tight because these screws are what actually holds this plate against and that's about all that seals in that overrunning clutch. Now that you got that all on there good, you're going to take, put your shroud back on. So now it spins over really nice. That's all you gotta do. Unless something's actually wrecked in there, then you need to replace your overrunning clutch.